In today's video, we'll cover all of Ichigo's forms in Bleach. We'll start with his regular form, but in later parts of the video, we'll explain some of his most powerful, legendary forms. In his human form, Ichigo is incredibly strong for a high schooler. Ever since Ichigo was a child, he used to go to a dojo to train with Totsuki. Although Ichigo wasn't as strong back then and used to lose a lot, he changed after his mother's death and became very strong. Since then, he has repeatedly shown great agility and coordination in his attacks. What's really impressive is that Ichigo is also very very courageous and doesn't care for the number of enemies he has to fight to protect his friends. Ichigo stopped training for a short time, but the constant attacks from bullies and his father kept his skills fresh. Although this is Ichigo's weakest form, his natural talent and hard work will lead him to becoming much stronger in the future. Shinigami Form Ichigo obtains his Shinigami powers for the first time when his family is in great danger of a hollow attack. At that time, an injured Rukia could no longer fight, so she gave Ichigo her powers to defeat the hollow threat. Surprisingly, a complete novice like Ichigo Ichigo managed to defeat a massive hollow effortlessly, which even a skilled Shinigami like Rukia had trouble fighting. When awakening his Shinigami powers, Ichigo also obtains his Zanpakuto, a soul cutter sword. The base form of Zanpakuto is the same for all Shinigamis, but what makes a difference are the powers obtained in the Shikai and the Bankai forms. The borrowed power allowed Ichigo to fight alongside Rukia and his friends, who also unlocked their abilities due to the Hogyoku inside Rukia. However, even with his natural talent and newfound powers, Ichigo wasn't untouchable in this form. Therefore, he suffered his first serious defeat against Renji and Byakuya, who came to the human world to take Rukia back and punish her for staying in the human world for too long. I also heard these guys punish people who don't hit the subscribe button, so make sure to click it just to be safe. Anyway, after the fight, Byakuya took the borrowed powers, leaving Ichigo completely powerless. However, with Kisuke's help, Ichigo obtains his own Shinigami powers and finds out the name of his Zanpakuto. Ichigo uses this form most of the time, especially in the Soul Society arc. His newly obtained powers powers paid off, as his rematch against Renji went exceptionally well. The last time the two met, Renji had easily beaten him, even with his powers restricted. This time, however, the tables had turned and Ichigo defeated Renji, who fought against him with everything he had. What truly showcased his strength was the battle against the captain of the 11th division, Kempachi Zaraki, who's well known for being a beast in combat. Ichigo has one of the most thrilling fights of the series with Zaraki and pushes him to remove his eye patch, which was limiting his powers. The guy defeated a captain despite being an amateur Shinigami who didn't even know how to control his own spiritual power. Around this time, Ichigo's strength had increased even more from battling strong foes in the Soul Society. Moreover, his speed significantly increased as well, which even impressed Byakuya, who's well known for his flash step. However, Byakuya is a formidable foe and can't be taken down that easily. Therefore, Yoroichi trained Ichigo to obtain a much stronger state of his Zanpakuto so that he could have a chance against the captain of the 6th division, Bankai form. With all the captains of the Soul Society on his back, Ichigo had to gain more power to save Rukia, but he had no time to waste. So Ichigo obtains a new form, Bankai, through special training with Yoroichi. It's important to note that only captains and powerful lieutenants have Bankai, which cannot be obtained easily. What's more, it takes over 10 years of practice to completely master this form and use it properly. As our main character didn't really have 10 years, he fights Songetsu physically for two and a half days and manages to achieve his Bankai. This power did wonders for Ichigo as his Zanbakuto's size decreased, increasing his speed and destructive power. It proved to be a game changer in the fight with Byakuya, as he managed to actually see Byakuya's flash step and effortlessly dodge his attack as well. What's more, Ichigo started using a strong attack called Getsuka Tensho, which gave him an edge in the battle. However, it would be highly unrealistic for Ichigo to defeat a captain of Byakuya's level when he was just a novice, and he realizes this pretty soon. This eventually leads him to awaken an even more powerful form. Hollow form. Unable to move his body and being repeatedly cut and stabbed by Byakuya, Ichigo is on his knees and almost about to die. However, just as Byakuya is about to land the final blow, Ichigo's holification begins. During this period, Ichigo has no control over his hollow self, and the power he showcases is immense and chaotic, making him faster, stronger, and more reckless than before. His powers completely changed the course of the fight, pushing Byakuya to go on the defensive. After the hollow form severely damages Byakuya, Ichigo manages to retake his consciousness by breaking the mask and proceeds to fight with his Bankai, eventually winning the fight. Later in the series, Ichigo forms a companionship with ex-Soul Society captains and lieutenants who are hollowfied by Aizen and are known as Visards. The Visards then help him tame his inner hollow through tough training by making him enter his inner world. 
In there, he had to fight Hollow Ichigo to access the powers as he pleases and remain conscious while using them. While Ichigo was fighting his inner Hollow, Visor fought unconscious Ichigo in the real world while he was fully hollified. After retaking his consciousness, Ichigo stopped his hollified self and broke the mask. Ichigo could use the mask for only 4 seconds at a time, and after training with the Visors, his limit increased to 11 seconds. However, his growth didn't stop there as the time limit of his mask further increases during his third rematch with the 6th Espada, Grimjaw Jaggerjax. Here we see Ichigo using the mask for an extended period of time in order to fight on equal grounds with Grimjaw's second form, Vasto Lorde form. During Ichigo's fight with the 4th Espada, Okiora Cypher, he realizes the massive difference in their powers and couldn't do much against him. On the brink of death, Ichigo is lying on the floor after Okiora shoots a Cerro Oscuras through his chest that even Orihime couldn't heal. Everyone thought that Ichigo died at that time. However, as Orihime begins to cry, Ichigo pushes himself, and his inner hollow takes over again, but this time with a massive change in his appearance. Ichigo becomes a Vasto Lorde, having long straight hair all the way down to his waist. What confirms that he's a hollow now is the hole in his chest, which he didn't have any of the previous times he hollified. The scariest part of this transformation is his hollow mask that covers the entirety of his face looking like a skull with big menacing horns. This form of Ichigo is entirely mindless and chaotic, with the only goal of crushing everything in front of him both friends and foes. Vasto Lorde Ichigo has new, very powerful abilities, one of them being a Seto, which can cause widespread destruction. He also gained immense strength, allowing him to destroy a significant portion of Las Noches with just one swing of his blade. The guy easily tore off Okiora's arm in the blink of an eye. This alone should be enough for everyone to realize just how powerful he really is now. Furthermore, Ichigo also demonstrates several more abilities like Fast Regeneration and Sonido, a high-speed movement technique utilized by Hollows and Arankar. Moreover, he almost killed Uryu, but Okiora broke his horn, which reverted Ichigo back into his normal state. Although he never utilized this form again, some of the forms we'll soon cover are even more powerful than this one. Dungai Form Next is Ichigo's Dungai Form, which he obtains after witnessing just how inferior he is to Aizen. At that time, Ichigo gave up to despair, losing hope to fight due to the massive difference in power. However, Ichimaru and Ichigo's father saw his potential. Therefore, Ishin takes him to Dungai, a corridor-like dimension connecting the Soul Society and the human world. Time flows faster in Dongai compared to the outside world, so Ishin teaches Ichigo the final Getsuga Tensho in under three months, which will help him greatly in defeating Aizen. Afterwards, Ichigo rejoins the battle with a completely new appearance, now much taller and with his hair grown. In this state, it appears that Ichigo has his Bankai released, but the difference now is that Getsuga is also merged with him. Ichigo's spiritual power was so strong that even Aizen couldn't sense it. The Dongai form considerably increased Ichigo's speed and power, allowing him to battle Aizen without even getting a scratch. What's more, Ichigo even returned the favor by easily catching Aizen's sword, much like he did Ichigo's Back in the Soul Society arc. The guy really made Aizen delusional, making him think that all the destruction around them was his powers, but in reality, it was all Ichigo's doing. Although Aizen continued to grow due to the Hogyoku in his body, Ichigo still managed to slice him in his fourth fusion and easily blocked his attacks. Final Getsuga Tensho To put an end to Aizen once and for all, Ichigo uses the final Getsuga Tensho form. In this state, Ichigo Ichigo becomes Getsuga himself, meaning he uses the entirety of his soul as a source of spiritual power for one significant attack. Ichigo explains that if he uses this technique, he loses all his abilities as a Shinigami, making it the final Getsuga Tensho. Ichigo learned this ability in his inner world while fighting Zangetsu for three months. Zangetsu was entirely against teaching Ichigo this last technique because he wanted to protect him from the dire consequences of the method. Eventually, Ichigo convinces him, leading Zangetsu to stab Ichigo with the blade, telling him that by accepting his sword, he will acquire the final Getsuga Tensho. In the end, Ichigo had to resort to using this technique because Aizen became immortal and would regenerate incredibly fast, which meant that he had to go all out and quickly end him. Ichigo's appearance changes as his hair grows longer and turns black, giving him a very mysterious yet terrifying look. Ichigo swings towards Aizen. Doing so causes a massive veil of black spiritual power to erupt upwards and approach the target, heavily damaging anything caught within the blast. The technique is strong enough to severely damage Aizen, forcing him to use his weaker transformation. After this attack, the black spiritual power disappears as Ichigo falls to the ground in severe pain, losing his Shinigami powers. But in the end, this form had weakened Aizen enough to allow Urahara to seal him away. There are only three forms left to cover and trust me, you definitely won't want to miss these. Full Ring Form 
After losing his powers as a result of his previous transformation, Ichigo finds out that becoming a Fullbringer would help him become a Shinigami again. Fullbringers are spiritually aware humans, born with the eponymous ability, Fullbring, which allows them to manipulate the souls that reside in all physical matter. This power is awakened in children whose mothers were attacked by Hollows, and since Ichigo's mother falls into that group, Ichigo gains access to Fullbring powers. In this form, Ichigo becomes much faster, and also gains the ability to jump high into the air, which greatly helps him in his fights. In addition, Fullbring Ichigo can generate swirling blasts of spiritual power, comparable to Getsuga Tensho in appearance, maybe even in strength. Ichigo eventually regained his Shinigami powers after being stabbed in the back by Rukia with a special sword containing spiritual energies given by all of the captains and lieutenants. Before we cover Ichigo's most powerful form in the entire show, let's first quickly cover his Shinigami rebuild form. During the Thousand Years Blood War arc, Ichigo fails to defeat Yi Watch and undergoes training in the Royal Palace in preparation for the war. There, Ichigo discovered that he also had Quincy's powers. Ichigo's father, Ishin, is the reason for his inheritance of Shinigami energy, while his mother, Masaki, is responsible for both his inherited Quincy and Hollow powers. After mastering Zangetsu, Ichigo is transformed into a new and powerful Shinigami form with two Zanpakutos, one representing the Hollow form looking like his old blade and the other his spiritual Shinigami, which is smaller. After reclaiming his powers, he also got improved versions of his attacks. Now he can release an exceptionally powerful Getsuga Tensho with his knife-like sword and giant shockwave with the other one. Additionally, he gains a new attack as he combines the two blades, releasing an attack named Getsuga Jujisho. Bankai Rebuild Ichigo achieves this state by placing his swords together in a specific way. In this form, the outer section of the blade turns white with the addition of a chain connecting the hilt and the edge of the blade. In short, Ichigo combines all his power and obtains the ultimate form beyond holification, which even you have noticed. Unlike his Vasto Lorde form, he was completely conscious, assuring scared Orihime that it really was him and not a mindless creature thirsting for blood. Ichigo then explains how his mother's and father's powers were constantly at odds with each other, but now they finally have found balance. His appearance changed again, making him look like a mixture of his Vasto Lorde and Chi Shinigami forms, with the giant white horn on his head. The Bankai rebuild gave him great speed and strength, allowing Ichigo to pose a threat to Yuhavak, even making him draw his blades out. Although Ichigo managed to perform a very powerful attack by combining his Getsuga Tensho with Granrei Sero, in the end, it was easily blocked by Yuhavak. He then proceeded to break Ichigo's Bankai and overpower him rather easily. However, after Yuhavak leaves to destroy the Soul Society, Ichigo Zangetsu is fully restored with the help of Tsukushima with his Book of the End and Orihime's Soten Kishun. In the end, with the help of Aizen and Uryu, Ichigo swings his blade one last time and finally defeats the father of Quincy.